What is going on everybody, Kazi here, and we are playing a new in development early access Steam game called Park Asaurus. Now if you guys are familiar with games like Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, this is kind of a modernized, beautifully animated I will say game, and uh, I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I thought that I would record myself kind of going through the tutorial and kind of getting excited about this game. I've watched a little bit of gameplay, but not really enough where I know what I'm doing. So let's hop right into it. I just love this whole starting screen here. We got the dino going to earth in a rocket ship. I guess dinos were here first. They crash landed. They were like, man, place is pretty lit. We can breathe here. All right, cool. All right, what's the park's name? Um, I guess uh, we're going to call it Dinotopia. It is a land of freedom. I love how this this actually looks just like Zoo Tycoon or Roller Coaster Tycoon, sorry. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I'll be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big, empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. I like your little hat, Ollie. Fancy. Okay, we can move around the camera. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Pan the camera six times. Hold down the right mouse button to pan. Oh, 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 panning, panning. Okay, pan master. Okay, press Q or E to rotate the camera. Oh, this is just like Zoo Tycoon. Beauty. Oh, the controls are beautiful. Okay, science officer Luca. It's a dinosaur in a scientist coat. I love it. <laughs> science officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we would set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your dinos live, obviously. Your design, you design exhibits to match your dinos' needs and increase dino happiness. But now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dinosaur. Select a wood fence. Oh man, I'm getting psyched. Because I really wanted to play the, the Jurassic uh, World kind of open world game. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. And it's just so expensive. And to be honest with you, I'm a little cheap. And this game is early access. But you know what? It was like 24 bucks. So I encourage people to give this a try here. Am I doing this right? Okay. Okay. I can dig it. Oh, maybe. Can I undo? Is there an undo button? Does this undo things? Oh no, that just turns the screen around. Okay, I kind of messed up already. Is there... I haven't learned how to delete things yet. Oh no! I built this even further out than I meant to. Okay. Finish placing where you began. Okay, can I delete this? Oh no, I've, I done goofed. I done goofed already. Water view. Privacy view, dinosaur storage, inventory. Where's the gosh damn delete button? What the hell? Okay. I guess we're gonna make the fence the way we should. Maybe we'll learn how to delete things after we build this fence. Let's hope so, because until then, we're gonna have a weird looking enclosure. Oh, it made it. Okay. Click on the fence door. And add a door. All right, let's throw it up at the top here. There we go. Good job. Now teach me how to delete things so I can fix this travesty. Pax here. I piloted the crash ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins in bins called donation boxes. All right, we're gonna need donation boxes. Ooh, a research station. This is really cool. I really like the animation style. These trees look beauty. Okay, let's put this donation box right by our entrance here. Um, there. Boom. Donation box secure. All right, do we want to try Ceratops or Stegosaurus? Dude, I want to try Ceratops. A hundo P. 
Triceratops egg. Are you going to teach me how to delete things yet? I understand. This game's about dinosaurs, but right now I'm, a, I'm about deleting things. Okay. Let's get the dino here. We got a dino egg in our inventory. All right, let's place this beauty. Oh, it's huge. Oh, snap. I don't think this is a big enough exhibit. Town is a great place to buy food or get loans for your dinos. If you can visit town anytime during the day, even at nighttime. Oh, that's handy. Is this the town? What the flying badge? Badgers? Okay, add to daily. What's this? Buy now. What does it want me to do? Buy six plants and feed to your dinos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Yes. This game makes me feel good for achieving things. All right, now what's my mish? Do I, do I get out of here now? Okay. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders give various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian, so let's get a vegetarian feeder. There's a fruit fly flying around my face. All right, let's let's put this uh, in a neat spot right up here. We're gonna give them some privacy probably along this wall here. All right, caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks. Veterinary veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Okay. Resumes. Okay. All right, I need a veterinarian. Let me see what we got. All right, let's look at the highest paid ones because obviously they're the best ones. So, Lancasia. Lancasia? Lanc. I don't know. Arthup. Oh, Lancasia, he's got those abilities, though. I hired Lancasia by accident, but he's who I wanted to hire. It's okay. Watch the veterinarian fill the feeder. What an exciting gig. Where's the vet? My, oh, there he is. He's walking around. Can we get a nice view? Can I track you? can't track you I should be able to track you the developers of this game and tracking still in early development so there's a lot of things that obviously aren't implemented but this seems like a fairly fleshed out game the exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit every dino species is a particular biome they prefer to live in you can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. All right, let's get the wetness levels and the terrain levels going. Click the fence or double click the ground to, okay, double click the ground. Okay, now what? Drag grass tiles. Place biome tiles. Okay, grassness. Must select grass biome. Oh, that's here. Okay. All right, I can dig it. All right, and it's got a nice system. I don't have to individually place. Ooh, you're getting grassy in here. I like it. Okay, we got what do we got here? Oh, there's some little flowers in the field. I like that. It's a nice look. Okay. And then uh, we're probably going to want... Oh, the destruction tool. Finally. This dino will have to wait. We've unlocked destruction mode. I'm also killing that tree that I admired at the beginning. Sorry, tree. We built such a relationship. None of these trees mean anything else to me. Tree will replace you. Mm, all right. Oh, my water. Oh, my goodness. We got a baby. I got to zoom in on this. I'm drinking my water, though. Oh, my God. Look at this. Cute. What, what the heck? Add water to your exhibit. We need to add some water, boy. We need some water. 
Okay, let's let's do this. Put it in this corner. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay. The water's jiggling a lot around a fair amount. Oh, but it's got like physics, I guess. Does the water have physics? Oh man, I'm making this deep. I want them to have like their own little area, but it has to be like kind of squared up, you know. Whoa! Oh no! Okay. Oh, I thought I done goofed. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees, bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibits biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in uh, can only live in particular biomes. Note the trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Okay. Okie dokie. I want to add some terrain though. Okay, what did I just click? Build trees suitable. Oh, this. Oh, it's the end of the day. Build trees suitable for your, your tile. So it's showing me what I did today. Earn today zero dollars. Paid to employees. All right, we're losing monies, but that's okay. We got to start the next day, baby. All right. Can I pause this? No. Nope. It's Tuesday though, and it's spring. Okay. What else can we add here? Trees. Oh, I like that. Not all the trees are the same size. Oh, that's cool. Add a little bit of tree life. Alright, now we're gonna need some bushes. Gonna add some bushes. Oh, I'm already loving this. And we haven't even got to the economy portion of the game yet. Okay. We gotta throw some rocks in here. They like these little spiky rocks. Little spiky rocks there. I like how he's got a cowboy hat on this guy. Howdy partner, work out. Oh, she's a late. Oh, this it's not a lady, it's my homie. Does he have his beard? Oh no! No, don't attack the fence. What are you doing, little dinosaur? Yeah, now he's happy. He's got rocks in here. He won't try to destroy everything. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. Just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. Let's bring up the ticket price, because we're awesome. Just $6. Park open. Job done. Building colors. We're making them red. A janitor is a key member of your park staff. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage, go to the office, and hire a janitor. Okay, seems simple enough. All right, office is up here. We got our resumes. We're going to need a janitor. Oh, she hired for both positions, it looked like. Oh, what do we got here? You're... Speed. I want some speed when it comes to my janitor abilities. Oh, you're you're the ideal employee. Come here. We need you. That's a good resume. Watch janitor clean. Three garbage. Where are you? Can I just click this? Click this. Where's this goof? This goober. I like their hats. They're very square. Clean up that garbage, boy. All right. Pick up and move janitor. Oh, that's nice. It's an easy mechanic. You just click them. This has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park to make some money. Have five guests visit your park. Now, in a video I watched, I know that privacy is important to these dino snores. So I want to add like a bit of a privacy wall for him at the back here. It's like if you were to see a real zoo. The animal's got his own little space. I like it. I like it. Okay, now how's our little buddy doing here? How's his privacy? His, he needs more private exhibit. Okay, let's add some more foliage. I think this is a pretty pimpin' exhibit. I don't know why this guy's complaining. 
Okay, now what's this? The office. Now what do we gotta do? Resumes. What does it want me to do? Hire security. Okay. So now I have to hire me some security. We definitely want speed. But personality is important too. I think we're gonna hire this creepy looking individual here. You've been hired. Click on a dinosaur. Click on request tranquilize button. Oh my goodness, we're gonna crank our dinos apparently. Oh god, she's got a shotgun. Get out of there, boy! Oh no. Get out of there, bud. Hide behind the bush. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, God. Click on your tranquilized dinosaur. It's now in my inventory. His name is Moses? That's hilarious. I didn't even take that in. Beauty. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have a scientist work at a scientist building or at a scientist presentation. Hmm, from Luca. Thank you, Luca. Let's build this science building. All right, how do I rotate it? The science building should be right at the front. Okay, pick up scientists. Place onto science node. Science nodes are found on science buildings and presentations. Okay. Hire a scientist. Let's go to the research. I want a crazy looking scientist. This guy passes. Let's oh, security. Oh my goodness. The scientists are as crazy as I hoped. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, I like this dude. He's pretty still. He's pretty silent. He's got four ability too. All right, I like you. I want to name you like Elon Musk though. Am I able to change his name? Pick up and place your scientist. Okay, let's go. Come here, you. Place you there. All right, ticket sales. Donations. Nice. We had a profit today. Did we actually? Barely. But still, we had a successful day. We had people in. Dinotopia. We got two stars. But how are our dinosaurs doing? Staff. Can I change their names, please? I want to be able to change my staff's name. If that's not already a thing. Alright, let's go to the next day. Save complete. What are you doing? Where are you guys going? To investigate some stuff over there. Generate seven science today. All right, it looks like he's generating science pretty hard over there. That's pretty good. Now, in the meantime, let's try to. Oh, there we go. We got his privacy level up. Ah, we done it. Coming soon. Oh, sweet. They're bringing breeding. That's awesome. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Clicky clicky. Alright. Look for... Oh man, this is small on my screen. Um, let's try to get... Um... Sorry, it's hard for me to see there. I want to get something crazy. I want to get like a sauropod of some, some kind. Oh, it's locked. This one looks... Let's open the portal here. Alright, I couldn't really tell where this portal was going. My webcam is kind of right in front of that menu. Alright, we're exploring. Is this like... Do I wait for this? Do I go? Have an expedition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little time, so explore your park and return later. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I love how it shows me what line it's on. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. New exhibit. 
Oh, we're almost done exploring. Oh, that's cool. It's like my park's here. And we're exploring this way. Should I hire more scientists in the meantime? All right. Let's dig. Okay, this is pretty cool. How's this work? Um, click on the dig button, scientists. All right, so I got to put scientists in places. Oh, man. Einfeld, you, you could take up some space, Breda. All right, let's try to space this out, like, intelligently. All right, I'm going to take some bets here. Oh, we got something. Okay, this is kind of a cool mini game. This reminds me of um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. They had this like underground like mining setup. I wonder if that's what this is inspired from. Nice. All right. Seventeen items left. Wow, we didn't even like get up to here. All right. Now we have to go home. Alright, return home. Now we go to town and we go to the egg farm. Alright, so we got a chicken here. So it looks like we can create quite a few. And it looks like we need gems of some sort as well. Oh man, there's different dinosaurs you can make. Oviraptor. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think I was going to get another Triceratops. We made another enclosure for no reason. Oh my goodness, this poor chicken. Okay, so now we have two Triceratopses. Two Triceratopses. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technology, such as new building upgrades and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock a science technology from Luca. All right, sounds pretty legit. Let's do it. It wants us to unlock horticulture amateur. Doop. Okay, that's cool. We might as well get the momentum pack. Do we have enough science for that? No, I think we need more of that science. We need 600 science. We need to fill up our science meter. Maybe we'll hire another scientist. Yeah, let's hire some more staff here. Get another scientist on the roll. What's your ability at, pal? We need some... We got some level 4 ability science around. You have a wicked beard. And you have been hired. Okay. Let's actually add this new Triceratops as well. Oh, sweet! Well, I taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There's much more to explore, but you're on your own to gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager. Thanks, Ollie. All right, so I think we're just going to kind of finish up our exhibits here. Oh, it looks like he's just kind of doing his own thing. I don't know what he's doing over here. Can I pick this dude up? Get, here, get over here. Can I put you over here? Can multiple scientists be doing the research? Oh, no. So, I guess he's just going to do his own thing. Oh, he's digging for fossils, I guess. That's pretty cool. All right. So, before we end this, because we did finish the tutorial, let's place our little dino egg down in here. So, we can have two little triceratopsids. Two little triceratopsids. All right. So, that's going to take some time to hatch. Now let's do the next day. We're going to add... Some more space for our beauty little dino pals. Oh, a delivery has arrived at the fr What the hell? Oh, maybe that's the food. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's hit the uh, delete button. Delete. Oh no, dinosaur is on the loose because I didn't finish the cage. Are they going to go straight for the door? Yeah, he is. Oh no, they're shooting at my boy. They're shooting at my boy. Okay, we can't have that. That's cruelty. That's dinosaur. No, stop. That's point blank, man. Stop what you're doing. Leave him alone. You didn't do nothing to you. We saved him. We saved our dinosaur. 
All right, they should be satisfied. Little little triceratops. They're so cute. Like seriously. Oh, the second one hasn't even hatched yet. Like look at this guy. Oh, I love the graphic style. And I saw in the trailer you can get like hats for them and stuff like that too. So you get like costumes for your dinos. Does it tell me their thoughts? What I liked about Zoo Tycoon is that like it showed you their thoughts and stuff like that. Dude, you have so much privacy. But you're snitching. Oh my god. I didn't realize how big. Why are you so upset? No, don't be upset. What? What? No, they have no enrichment. Oh my god, don't fight each other. Oh my god, was that poo? Did that, was that just shit? Oh my god, yeah, that was pretty wild. The crap physics in this game are phenomenal. Oh, they love each other. They're happy again. Yay. We probably need shops and stuff like that, don't we? Yeah, Sweet Tooth and Dino Dog. Say what? Get your Sweet Tooth here. Get your Dino Dogs here. Oh my goodness, Dino Dogs is huge. We'll throw the dino dogs down. Oh, I could put like gazebos and stuff down. Get your dino dogs here. Get your dino dogs. Get them while they're dinos. Get them while they're dogs. Dino dogs here. Boom. Out of the sky. Yeah, this is a balloon shop. Oh my goodness. Of course we need a balloon shop. I think this is looking fresh. Alright. End of day. We got some donations. Merchandise. Sold a bit. Alright. Let's start the next day. We're going to play for one more day. See what we can get done in this park. And then I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm really starting to feel for this game. I want to play the hell out of this. Let's throw a garbage can in the middle here. Always crucial. Gotta have a garbage can. Get some benches for the peeps to sit on. They can chill out. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. An outhouse. Oh, we, everyone needs a bathroom. Oh, I like how close I could put that to this building. When to clean, when it's smelly. Oh my God, what was that option? Poop apocalypse? Oh my goodness, that's too funny. That's jokes. I love this game. This game's got a great sense of humor. My dinosaurs hate their lives. We'll throw a donation box here. Money earned will be collected at the end of the day. Oh snap, we're starting to we're starting to lose cash here. Good thing we got an economy going on here. What's like floating up here? Oh my god, I can pop. That was a balloon. I can pop the balloons. Can I pop them while people are like holding them? Yes. What do the people look like? They kind of got funny faces, but I like their outfits. They kind of look like Neanderthals a little bit. Like the men, that's hilarious. I really love the animation style of this game. All right, you feel like you don't have enough privacy. I feel like you do, and I, I don't care for your attitude. I think the biome here is pretty good. We got a healthy biodiversity. We got a good appeal. These guys, Dexter and Moses, are two cute little dinos. I think we've got a proper setup. I think this turns out well. Now. We're going to end the video here, but before we end the video, I want to see what happens 
when one of these triceratops is, is, escapes, but our dude isn't able to tranquilize him. So let's kind of do a bit of an experiment here. Destruction tool. Just delete. And then wherever our security dude is, where is he? Who's going to knock him out? Are you going to grab the gun? Is it you or is it security who grabs the gun? Let's see what happens. I oh, know they're running. They're running wild. The baby one. Everyone's freaking out. Where's my security dude? These are good questions. I don't have a security. Oh my god! Oh my god, they're destroying everything. I did not expect that. I'll be honest with you. That just went flying into the stratosphere. Oh, oh my god, that bench is destroyed. Where the hell is that? What? They're going to destroy the whole park. Where's our security guards? We need to hire some goddamn security. God damn. All right, I like the cut of your jib, son. You've been hired. Get on it. Stop these dinos. Are they even doing anything? I can't pick them up. They're just destroying all the cards. Okay, we got one security guy in there. Oh, no. Stay away from the dino dogs, mate. No. No, not the dino dogs. No. Get out of there. Come on, do some tranquilizing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We got Moses. Oh, my God. People are on fire. Oh, my goodness. The restaurant. This is literally Jurassic Park. Holy. I'm popping her balloon. Oh my goodness, this is, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. Riker, what did you think of that? Holy jumping. I didn't think that it was going to get that intense. This game has like this beautiful art style to it, but beneath that is just evil and sets things on fire. Now, I do not know what to do here. I can request repairs on this. And I made a profit today. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I think that's the end of the video today. Uh, we are going to request repair on these things. I could not find a free janitor. Where are our janitors? Let's close the, close the zoo here. Close the park. Sorry. Where are our janitors? Oh, this is our janitor. Repairing the balloon stand. Okay, so balloon stands are repairable and stuff like that. So I guess the maintenance person can go back and fix all this stuff. All right, all right, so all is not lost. I was like, man, did we just lose all of our hard work? No, but uh, the dino dog stand has been repaired. Very nice. Very nice. There's garbage everywhere, these people. Fix these benches up. Yeah, because I noticed... Oh my goodness, there's a fossil here too. We got a Stegosaurus fo footprint. That's pretty cool. Wait, are, do we have lots of those on the map? That guy's been going pretty crazy running around. Maybe they only stick around for a little bit. Wow, this park is huge. Wow, there's a lot of room. All right, guys. Well, that was uh, my experience there with park Parkosaurus. Uh, it's in early development. It's still in the alpha. As you can see in the top there, it's version 0.513. So it's not even the final product yet. So uh, I'm definitely going to play this game a lot more in the future. So guys, make sure you follow me on Twitch. You can check the link down below there where you can watch me live stream this game. And if you guys enjoy this video, obviously I will continue to upload more videos of this game. I mean, I've had a good time playing this. And I'd like to see what happens once I get a T-Rex. You know, we get some of the crazier dinos. And like I said, we can put outfits on them. We got to fill this enclosure. We got to get this one going. But for now, I think uh, I'm happy with our little little dino buddies we got dexter and moses let's drop them in there 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the videos, I'm always going to be making more. Hit that like button and share it with your friends, especially a game like this, it's in early development, it's going to need some love and attention. Alright guys, thanks for watching, peace out.